All right, guys, it's Tucker Jobs Gaming here. And for this episode of Tactic Testing and Reviews, I'm going to go with Holland. I'm going to go with AZ. Um, and they are classed as a top team. And they, I think they are predicted to come third in the league. So a little, something a little bit different on this video. Obviously, I'm still going to do the two teams. But I'm going to do them both in Holland. One a top team, one a relegation team. So AZ is the top team. I'm going to put the Naps, Venom, and Faith tactic on them and see if they win the league. And the plan is to go with the Venom Faith tactic the same with Sparta Rotterdam. They are predicted 17th relegation. Uh, I'm going to put the same tactic on them. It's going to be the same save. And their plan, uh, well, one plan is for them, is to hopefully get mid to mid table or just beat relegation. Uh, see how the tactic does on both of them. Tactic on a top team, tactic on a low team. Obviously, on the NAP SR community uh, page. Uh, he has tried this tactic out with the top team. Uh, I believe it was Liverpool. He does uh, quite a lot of his tests are with Liverpool. And it, it performed very well. So uh, yeah, taking it to Holland. And trying this out. A little bit different on the videos. A little bit of a twist. And uh, yeah, see how it does. They took our jobs! Dirk -a -dirk! Hi guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming, and here we are. Like I've said, I'm putting the tactic on two teams in the Holland, uh, and they are both going to be in the same save. All right, AZ and Sparta uh, Rotterdam. So as you can see in this top right corner, look, both are together, and I've put the tactic on each of them. I've quick picked both teams uh, to have their strongest eleven possible, and hopefully. Uh, that should help with the uh, tactic as well. And yeah, I'm going to go through them both at the same time. Obviously start like I'm doing now, January and end of the season. And the plan is to uh, get uh, come first with AZ and beat relegation or do half decently with Sparta. Right, so first of all, let's go through the uh, tactic. So it's 4-4-2. Uh, some good tactics from Nap and some definitely good 442 tactics from him as well. Uh, so it's a custom tick attacker. Um, 442. Two advanced forwards, two wingers, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, two inverted wing backs, um, and two ball playing defenders and a sweeper keeper. For those of you who can't download the tactic and want all the instructions of the play, we are going to start that now. So the advanced forward left, advanced forward right. Winger left, winger right, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right. Now, it's an attacking mentality tactic, and the in possession instructions is attacking width fairly wide. Uh, fairly wide is pretty much in the middle. It may say standard there, but it's the middle. Um, you, you're playing it all, all, all the way around. Yeah, you might favour the uh, wings a little bit. Uh, pass into space, pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Instructs players to look and make passes into open space for the players to run onto. Especially effective if you have fast players. Overlap left and right and play out of defence is your whole game and your whole play will start from defence. Or if you are obviously uh, in the defensive um part of the game where your centre-backs are taking off. They're not just going to oof the ball, they're going to try and play it out. Uh, and your left and right-backs are going to overlap the uh, their wingers. Or the wingers are going to come through because the inverted wing-backs tend to cut in a little bit, so they might be cutting inside and rather than crossing on the outside. A slightly shorter passing directness, so that will help you keep possession. Um, tempo higher, so slightly higher tempo of play, uh, fast uh, fast passes and the whatnot uh work ball into box again with the attacking tactics this is a good thing because you don't waste shots from outside the area you wait for the opportune moment to strike at the ball run at defense if you've got the players who's got good dri good dribbling good uh, agility uh, that's always a good thing to have as well uh, in transition counter press and counter like all tactics you are going to press them if they win the ball try and get the ball back and when the possession has been won, you're going to counter straight off the bat. Uh, for your goalkeeper, it's short distribution uh, to your fullback. So that's where your play is going to start uh, and is going to throw it to them. 
uh, out of possession, high, much higher line of engagement and much higher defensive line. And that's pretty good for when you do win the ball back, when you are countering and pressing, because all your players are already pushed up the pitch. Using the offside trap, I say, use offside trap will ask players to adapt to a defensive strategy where they seek to catch opposition forwards offside. Obviously, you keep that back line. When the pass comes in, hopefully your defenders can anticipate it or push forward. He's offside. Pretty simple. Uh, use tighter marking, as it, as it says. Marking system where defenders are encouraged to stick close to an assigned opponent. Um, press the intensity, extremely urgent, and getting stuck in and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. So your players are going to press their players like Wano. All right, they're not going to give them any breathing room and hopefully force them to make a mistake uh, and get stuck in option allows them to do the rough tackles. Um, but this can also be a double-edged sword as it can move your players out of position and if your pressing doesn't work, then their countering may break your defense down. So that's that. Going to the uh, corner uh, instructions. So this is the defending right, defending left, attacking left, and attacking right instructions. The instructions for the free kicks is defending right, defending left, and attacking left. Attacking right and attacking with a small chance of shots. That's left. Oh, sorry, that's right. That's left. Uh, indirect wide free kicks. Attacking left. Attacking right. And indirect deep free kicks. Attacking right and attacking left. Uh, hopefully, uh, you all know what uh, the uh, symbols mean. Just pause the video and copy them down. Uh, obviously, that's for the people that can't download the tactic for the ones on FM Touch. Uh, pretty simple to do. Um, yeah, pause the video, slow it down, take a picture, whatever you have to do to uh, to mimic it. Um, and this is the throwing instructions for defending right and defending left and attacking left and attacking right. So hopefully that helps you. Obviously, um, all the same instructions are going to be on Sparta as well. And uh, yeah, see you in January for a short little recap, see how the teams are doing, and then to the end of the season. Right, welcome back to January for a quick recap on how the teams are doing. And look at that. Both teams, don't forget, they're on part of the same save. So we've got Ragnar Aki, or Ak, um, number one on goals, 17 goals. And then just below him, Ferdy Druich, 15. Druich, Druich. It's a hard name to pronounce. Druich. I think it's Druich. Something like that. Um, and again, average rating, uh, Ak and Stengs. Uh, first and second assists, uh, AZ, Stengs, Classy, and Uergen. Uergen? So bad. Can't, can't pronounce them. I might be right, but... Um, and then player of the matches, Ak again, and clean sheets is the uh, AZ goalkeeper. Um, joint first on nine clean sheets. Yellow cards, AZ again. Uh, second and third so yeah they're doing pretty good az is sitting first uh 115 drawn two lost uh, lost to 47 points and sparta don't forget sparta were predicted to come 17 they were predicted to be relegated from this division um, and they are currently sitting seventh nine wins one draw and nine losses on 28 points everyone's doing pretty good let's have a look at the uh, az team stats first so quick recap everyone's doing pretty good uh, the stats of the team are as follows. Best player so far is Stengs. 14 goals, 17 assists, playing 7.69 in all competitions. Mustard. Uh, Druidge, 22-2. Uh, and two and, two. and you got, yeah, good players there. Idrissi, 15-8. and eight. Classy, Jordy Classy. I used to buy him years ago, years ago on FM. Uh, he was a pretty good wonder kid back then. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, doing well as well on 14 assists. And everyone's playing pretty good there. Um, Sparta, have a look at them. Team Ak is definitely being uh, the best. 7.85 is is not nothing great. There's nothing great about him. He's a young lad. He's got high potential, uh, but at the minute he isn't he isn't a world class um, striker in Holland. Uh, but but he's acting like it. 23 goals. He's playing on the left. Uh, both strikers who are the top for AZ and Sparta, they're playing on the left hand side. Um, of the strike force and uh, yeah so after him you've got Pinto 0 and 8 and everyone else is playing pretty good uh, the best assists of the team yeah Pinto uh, Justin after him 
And yeah, they're all doing so well and happy at that. See you at the end of the season. Right, end of the season. Don't forget, it's the same save. So these two teams, AZ, champions, 77 points, 24 wins, 5 drew, 5 lost, goal difference of 63. And they got the second highest top goal, top goal scorer in 30, Druidge, uh, with 23. And uh, they also got third place with average rating in the teams with uh, Stengs as well, uh, 7.56. And they also had the best assists of the league with Stengs and Classy first and third. Um, but the surprising one is Sparta. Sparta, uh, they were predicted to get relegated, all right? They never had, they didn't have a great squad. I looked through all the squad. I'm sure you've looked through the squad before if anyone's been them. They're not great. They were rightly so to be, uh, to be the contenders for relegation. But no, best player in the league for this season is Ragnar Aki or Ak. Uh, eight, eight, I think it's Ak. And um, yeah, 29 goals, 7.61, and is uh, jo uh, second in player of the matches. So he's done absolutely brilliant. And like I said, there's nothing about him that says he should be great. So that's telling me that this tactic is very much favouring that left hand side advance forward, and it's allowing them to score a lot of goals. Um, which is very good. Obviously, you can pull it on any team, and maybe that left hand side, if you, your better striker that you want to score, put them on the left. Right, so looking at that, let's see how. Let's go through AZ first. Right, so the squad is in all competitions. Uh, the best player was Stengs, um, seven point five seven, sixteen goals and twenty four assists. Uh, I'm going to try and pronounce this one now. Coop, Ma Coop Miners, Coop Miners, am I right there? Uh, 23 goals, 5 assists, and Druish on 30 goals, 2 assists. And then you've got Idrissi, 15 goals. Everyone's been playing all right. Um, Stengs and Classy are your main um, suppliers of the ball. Classy in itself, I've already said, this is your main team. Your box-to-box -box midfielder, Classy, that's where he's been sitting. That's where he was going most of the game's uh, tactics. Yeah, all out, that midfield centre, box-to-box midfielder. Um, that's where he, he's been. And... Stengs, he would have been on the right. Definitely on the right. Says he plays on the right and also on my tactic strongest 11. He is on the right. Uh, they've been playing absolutely amazing. Let's have a look how their schedule went. So we got through the qualifying round to get into the European Cup. We came second in our group. So we did pretty well there. Uh, still in the Dutch Cup. Still in the Dutch Cup. Ah, went out. Went out in the Dutch Cup on penalties. Still in the Euro Cup, obviously. We are got past Bruges uh, in the first round, but unfortunately got knocked out by Lazio in the second round, but did pretty good. Now, both the same save, both using the same tactics. How did they do when it was head-to-head? -head? So here's Sparta here. It looks like AZ won the second game, and the first game, Sparta again, and AZ won the first game. So... Two different classes of teams there. AZ was expected to win. Uh, Sparta may have pulled it off, but they did well in the league, but they couldn't beat a team that was using the same tactic and had a better standard of team. Um, so, yeah, they all did brilliantly. Uh, let's have a look at the analysis of uh, AZ. So the goals, as you can see from here, they scored 133 and only let in 48 in all competitions. Pretty good. Most goals are going to be in the uh, area because, like I said, on the... Um, Team instructions, working ball into box, so most of your goals are going to come from there. You've had a couple on the outside and two wonder goals. Assist locations, left and right seem pretty even, so that's all right. You haven't got one favourite um, favorite side on the wings. Uh, 14 from deep or in your own half, so that's pretty good. That's uh, could be deep line playmaker doing the pings. Obviously, you've got your ball playing defenders also, uh, and a lot of uh, the goals, uh, assist locations are in the box, and that's expected. Because uh, you are working the ball in the box. So hopefully they're going to be pinging them around and waiting for the opportune moment. Boom. Goal. Sand. Uh, so yeah, everyone did pretty good. I'm happy at that. They came first. You can't, you can't moan. Tactic is a brilliant Venom and Faith tactic. The full name for this is the 20.4.1 Venom and Faith 442 NAP Volume 3 P109 FACC. Uh, that means that with the top team, he got 109 points. Uh, won the FA Cup and the Champions Cup. Uh, most likely with uh, Liverpool. So that did very well in England. 
And I'm sure, obviously I've tried it out now with the top team and a lower team, and they both did very well for, for who they are and what they uh, accomplished. So second is Sparta. Right, we've seen them where they were in the league. Let's have a look at the squad. So Ak did the best with the 7.69 in all competitions, 35 goals and 5 assists. What a lad, did very, very well. Uh, Paro, uh, 10 Paro, Piro. Uh, got 10 goals, so he did pretty well. Then you got Pinto with 11 assists. So even though Ak got more goals, very quite a lot of goals to be fair, the rest of the team... Uh, their stats are a bit lower than AZ's but it's expected AZ was the better team so for a team that was predicted 17 from relegation from this league they did absolutely amazing uh, the tactic has definitely worked for them looking at the schedules looking at some score lines yeah they would have lost some more it shows they did come eighth but they had a couple of good results as well uh, they had I would say a stronger first part of the season than the second as you can see from here, the green dots say a lot. Um, but yeah, they all did pretty well. And uh, let's have a look at their analysis of the uh, goals. So they scored 132 as well, but they conceded more uh, than AZ. Um, so that obviously showed massively. And their goal locations are all pretty similar. Uh, they scored a few more outside the area. And the assist locations, again, left and right, not favouring either side there. Uh, from 10 uh, from deep in your own half. So that's again saying that the uh, ball playing defenders or the wing backs, uh, inverted wing backs, are maybe supplying from deep uh, on the pitch. And uh, 28 and 26 through the centre. That could be a box to box midfielder. Uh, they do fairly well. Uh, obviously, we've seen with Classy with AZ that he did very well in that area, um, supplying and scoring. And uh, yeah, 28 in the box. I've already said it again. Pinging it around the box, waiting for the opportune moment to score. So yeah. Awesome. Holland uh, did very well. Champions and we escaped relegation. So let me know, guys. Is, uh, is this a, a different way how you, like, uh, how you like to see the video? Obviously, I show a full video of one team and then a quick little glimpse of a, of a second team. But if I'm doing teams in the same division, should I do it this way? Both in the same save and both potentially going to be going against each other. Uh, in the league well there will be and maybe in the cups let me know guys in the comments uh, see what you think of the uh of this one and uh yeah that's the nap uh, venom and faith tactic uh, in the description below is the download link and the um, sr community forum for naps page uh, obviously it's got loads of uh, information on there of all the other t uh, of all the other tactics that is done literally there's there's a there's a big list of them and they've all been uh, tested uh, and they've all got little bits of information on the right hand side for a little bit more information the formation of what they are uh, so yeah check it out very good and uh yeah so if you like the video guys subscribe like and uh, i'll see you when i see you see you later bye